Hi everybody, my name is Brie and welcome to my new channel, Brie's Arts. So I just wanted to tell a little bit of a story as to why I'm here and why I decided to start this YouTube channel. In October of last year, I had a back surgery. And when you have a back surgery, you really can't do anything. And so what I did, I was on YouTube a lot. And that is when I discovered so many amazing YouTubers who do DIY crafts and they have just inspired me so much. For instance, there's Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs. She inspires me on the daily. Caitlin from Crafts by Caitlin. She's amazing too. And Jazz from DIY Home and Crafts. Uh, and so many others who just made me want to start crafting again. They're just amazing and I just wanted to be a part of that somehow. Now I will link their channels below if you want to check them out. Like I said, they're incredibly talented. So because I am from Canada, I will be using a lot of Dollar Tree items as well as items from Dollarama and from Amazon that Canadians as well as Americans can get. I find that when I am watching a lot of these YouTube videos, I'm not able to get a lot of the items because they are centralized down in the States. My DIYs will be mostly neutral, coastal, um, everyday decor that you could have up in your house year round. So that being said, let's just get into the first DIY. Okay, DIY number one. So I'm going to take one of these thin rounds that I got off of Amazon and my antique wax from Folk Art and just apply the antique wax with a baby wipe and then wipe off the excess. The baby wipes work amazingly with applying the antique wax. And I'm just going to dry it with heat gun and sand it down just a little bit to lighten the color. Now I'm gonna line this up using my craft mat and use the lines on either side of the round to make sure that my tape lines are really, really straight. You can see I use them on both sides, put the tape on, and then the lines are nice and parallel. I am going to be doing quite a few stripes on here, so I wanted to make sure that the tape lined up nice and straight. So I'm going to take my white by Folk Art, and I did use two coats to cover the antique wax because I didn't want any of the brown poking through. I wanted a stark contrast between the wood color and the white. And taking this light gray as well from Folk Art. This one only needed one coat. It covered very, very well. And now for your viewing pleasure, nice crisp lines. It's so satisfying, isn't it? No bleeds, this tape is fantastic. I also got the tape at Dollar Tree. I'll just slow this one down for you. Take it all in. Thing of beauty. So now the white is dry and I'm gonna go over it with the tape again because I am gonna cover that center stripe there with, uh, with black. So taking my black paint here, again, you only need one coat. This is the Black by Folk Art as well. It covers so well. And I love this chalk paint because it's nice and matte and it dries so quickly. It's just fantastic. And again, here we go. Nice crisp lines. Beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, fabulous. Now I'm going to take this little charm that I got at Dollarama and a piece of my twine and just thread it through one of the petals there. 
and then secure it to the piece of twine. So I want the charm to be a little bit off center. I'm just making sure, lining it up, being sure that I have enough to go around the back side of the piece. I'm going to secure that side with hot glue and use my little fingertip there so I don't burn myself. And then I'm going to secure the other side with hot glue as well. I'm going to wrap the twine around, it goes around probably three times, and then I'm just going to secure that with hot glue and secure the other side too, make sure it doesn't move, and then clip off the excess. Now this is really good because you have an automatic hanger on the back as well. So now I'm taking this decal that I made in Cricut Design Space. The home word there is one of the images from Cricut Design Space. The rest of it I just did just type out myself using American Typewriter font. Just want it lined up a little bit off center. Smush it down and peel it off. All right, DIY number two. So I'm going to take one of these little wooden drawers from Dollar Tree, as well as a pack of their craft sticks and I'm only going to use the bigger box that comes with that little drawer. So I'm going to take my white from Folk Art and I'm going to paint all of the sides, the front, the back, the bottom and I do two coats of the white just to make sure that it's nice and covered and crisp and clean. Now I do just go a little bit into the inside because I wasn't gonna paint the whole thing, but then I was just like, eh, might as well just get the whole thing, make it nice and cohesive, just in case you saw any of the white poking through. So then I'm going to take some of these craft sticks and then just eyeball how tall I want this little planter to be. and then cut that down. And then I will use that first stick as a template for all the rest of them so they're all the same height. So just mark it off with my pencil. And I cut 16 of them, four for each side. Now I'm gonna take my antique wax and my baby wipe and get all of the sides as well. Just smooge it all on there. And then of course, wipe off the excess. And you just have to do that to all 16 of the sticks. Then taking some hot glue, gluing those to the inside of the box. Now you, you see here, oh, the second craft stick, I don't know what was wrong with it. It was all wonky. It wasn't lining up, it was driving me crazy. I tried to pull it out and of course the glue had already dried and I was just like, okay, I'll just leave it and we can fix it later. So four craft sticks fit perfectly across each side. Now you have to understand these boxes aren't completely square. So when I did get to the second, or sorry, the third and the fourth side, I did have to cut the last stick down a little bit. It wasn't a big deal, you really can't notice it very much, but um, I just had to cut them to fit. Still playing with that one. See, you can't even really tell. They're pretty lined up. So then I'm taking a little bit of a bigger craft stick here, and I've already put the antique wax on. Now, I just measured each side and cut them down. and just line them up there, just to make sure that it's nice and clean at the top. And this is where I finally fixed that one wonky 
craft stick that was driving my bananas. So just glue them all on there. And you do have to cut them down just a little bit just to make sure that they do fit perfectly. And here I'm just adjusting it a little bit before the glue dries, but look at that. It just, it's so nice and clean, nice and finished. So now I'm taking these decals that, again, I got from Cricut Design Space. You just have to type in mosaic tile and there's tons of them on there. These ones I just felt really complemented each other. And then you just smooch them on and peel them off. Like butter. Look at how pretty. So now I'm going to take some of the floral foam from Dollar Tree. Just cut it down to size with my X-Acto knife. You do have to fiddle with it a little bit, cut off the sides and whatnot. And then I'm going to take some of this boxwood that I got from Dollarama. I really like their florals and their greenery this year. I find that they're much better quality than what is at Dollar Tree. And just place them in there. And then I'm just gonna take some of the stones that you get from Dollar Tree as well and fill up the rest of the planter. Okay, DIY number three. So I am going to use these little drawers again from Dollar Tree. We'll need four of them. And I'm just gonna use the insides of them, so the smaller boxes for this project. Using my antique wax, I am going to apply this, this time with a paintbrush. And I only have to paint four of the sides, so you don't have to put the wax on the side with the heart on it. Um, only because you'll never see that. Those are all going to be glued together. And then I will wipe off the excess with the baby wipe and use my handy dandy heat gun to dry it up. Okay, so taking some hot glue, we're going to glue those boxes together. And you see there I use the heart sides to glue them together. And then what we're gonna do is stack, stack them on top of each other. So just a little bit of a hot glue is good enough. You won't be moving it around too much. And so I didn't show the beginning of this, but I used some of the painter's tape to make little squares on each one of the boxes. So the sides will be about a quarter inch on each side. And what you have to do is just continually move the tape for each box. You can see here how I'm moving the tape and lining it up with the other one and then lining that up and then painting it. I hope that makes sense by just watching it. Um, you just have to move the tape around, make sure it's a quarter inch on each one of those squares, dry it up with your heat gun, and then you can move the tape over and put it on top, as you can see there. So I'm lining it up with the other side of the other box and then just painting that on. Gosh, I hope that makes sense. I think if you watch it, you'll figure it out. So once it's all dry, then you just pull out the tape and again, those nice crisp lines, but you can see how everything is all lined up there, about a quarter inch on each one of those little boxes. That worked perfect. Okay, so now I'm taking these decals from Cricut Design Space and I'm spelling out the word home. So putting it on there and you'll see here, I get a little bit antsy in my pantsy and I pull off half of the decal. <laughs> Um, but that's okay, you can line it up pretty well with the rest of the decal and it just went on, no problem. So you do that with all four of the letters. H-O-M-E. 
And I love these little decals. They look like an old typewriter. They're fantastic. So nice. So now I am going to take some of the floral foam again and cut it down with my X-Acto knife, cut it down to size, throw it in there. And you'll see these succulents that I have here. I actually got them on Amazon. Um, they were about $32 Canadian for 16 of them. So two bucks a piece it was a pretty smoking deal. And there were a whole bunch of different ones. I just love this. I think it's string of pearls that it's called. And it just kind of drapes over the side. It's so pretty. And then fill it up with rocks. And you're all done guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning into my very first YouTube video. I just loved creating these amazing projects and I think that this home sign is my favorite, but why don't you let me know in the comments below which one you like the best. So if you like what you see, it would really help out my channel if you would maybe drop a like, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all that jazz. So again, thanks so much and stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. Hi everybody, my name is Brie and welcome to my new channel, Brie's Arts, for all of your Brie I needs. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. You ready? So I wanted to be a part of it somehow. There's so much creativity and positivity and so much empowerment with all of these amazingly talented women. And I wanted to be a part of it. Did I say I wanted to be a part of it already? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Okay, I need to.